All right, everybody, place your bets, place your bets. You're in trouble, though, I'm telling you. Nice ping pong paddle, but I got this uh, brain stress ball. Mm, I, I, I can collect that. You yeah. know who wins this fight? Marco. All right, a little piece of freedom. I like that. Oh, yeah. But I'm uh, serious enough to see that and raise you guys because I feel I got the winning hand here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, just to call it serious, I got this Yoda, Master mm. Jedi Yoda. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Tell me about yes. my size, you little man. <laughs> You'll be by my side. Yes, you will. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, all right. Well, well, I'm serious about it. You could I got a can of soup. Re-raise. Bam. Damn, that's chunky, too. Re-raise. This is worth some mega millions here. An unfinished Rubik's Cube. Cause I couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. All right. Cool, yeah, cool, cool. That. You know, actually, I'm going to see you up on that one. Uh -huh. I, I, I believe my hand so much. I'm going to take uh, some... Uh, I need the container back, but you get supplements <laughs> for the next two days. You know, I'm not even going to lie, and I'm a little vitamin deficient, so I appreciate that. There you go. Uh, so, you know what? That sounds pretty good to me. I'll raise you guys my bloody Have a Witch Time cup. Oh, you going to go with the cup? You think you're, you think you're that good? It'll be perfect for my soup. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah. It's fighting words right there. Oh. It's fighting words. But you know what? Prove it. We're going to re-raise. Okay. Re-raise. Okay. Bam. What's that? Empty poster holder. <laughs> There's no what? poster in Let's go. That looks like my future beating stick. Let's go. <laughs> Back in the face. All right. I like where your brain is. What Yo. you got on that? You know what? What you got on that? <laughs> I'm going to get you guys in the hole here. <clears throat> this is a walking dead Glenn. Ooh, and nice. you know why? Because he's dead. I'm going to put him in the blood cup. Because he's oh. dead this season. Glenn is not dead. He is not going to die. You cotton belly, no good farming, tooting, fruiting, son of a whatever. Yes, he's dead. He's not well, dead. He's, he's dead. totally not going to die. I will bet any amount of money. Bet you 50 bucks. 50 bucks. 50 Show bucks. starts. 50 bucks. Glenn is alive. I will he, bet you this Nerf gun that he is alive. Now you're going to pull out the guns. Oh, yeah. Get, get a little hostile here. Oh, you the you the ones talking about fighting words. Those are fighting words. Glenn's dead. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want to join him? <laughs> you know what? What? I'm going to vegan this stuff right now. Oh, yeah. Thanks for joining me. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I got my boy Dimes. And my boy Conj over here. What's up, guys? We're back one more time. We just went to go see Magnificent Seven. Magnificent. Yeah. Dum, 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 yes. dum, dum, I'm more like dum, dum. average seven. Oh. <laughs> but uh, but anyway. <laughs> so, what you guys think? I thought it was dope. It was I great. I had fun with that movie. You know, I think uh, when we were in the theater, we were like, dang, this first, like, the couple opening. ten minutes, yeah. if that didn't have your attention, then maybe it wasn't just a movie for you. I don't know. Yeah, that opening scene was like, I'm sitting there, like, I remember leaning over to you after, like, and it went into the, the credits. I was yeah. just like, I was like, yeah, I'm hooked. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, they hit wow. you with some action, and it's just like, okay, I want to know this movie. But they drop you right in the bucket, mm -hmm. and you find out who the villain is, and you're just sitting there going, like, that dude's a jerk. Yeah. Like, <laughs> We found our villain. Yeah. <laughs> Let's kill this guy. So I, I enjoyed it. And then he had humor, a little bit of humor. So yeah. It's, 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 yeah, I liked it. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't feeling it. I, I, I mean, I'm not a Western guy. So yeah. only Western movie I've ever liked is Posse. If you guys know what Posse is, then you know what I'm talking about. If not, then you don't. But it was you all need to black. You Django. All black. Cow that's that's not a cowboy totally Western is. movie. It's no, totally it is got not. A Western yeah, it's, it's totally got a Western. Yeah. It's not a Western. It's about slavery. It's nothing to do yeah. with westerns. It's got a whole Western. It's kick nothing to it. like that. All right. So what I thought about the movie, right? So they plunge you into this action drama, you know, where it's like immediately they pretty much show you who the villain is. Great. And then we go through and we find our heroes of the story. We find a story for each one of them. It's not like Suicide Squad. Where they kind of just like, oh yeah, this guy, this guy, and then, hey, everyone else, come along, you know? So we actually got a story of how each one of them, you know, was met and recruited to form this kind of Magnificent Seven team to help destroy this bad guy, right? Really bad guy. So I love that. We got some storyline going for each significant character. Mm -hmm. And then we, you know, 
have like great comedic in like the way it was filmed. You know, uh, I love silhouettes. You know, that whole western feel where it's just like you know sunshine and it's just like you just see the silhouette. It's a cowboy. Love it. So film wise, it was great. Music was great. And I don't know. I picked up on some accents in there that for me did it for me. So if I had to give it a rating, it would definitely be 8.5 out of 10. Hmm. Do you want me to go and then you can like... <clears throat> yeah, go. So we can, I can rebuttal your... your okay. Uh, um, so just to rebuttal you, you. Uh, no accents. No one really had an <laughs> accent. Um, the introduction to a lot of the characters wasn't really that strong. Um, Eden Hawke's character, I didn't feel like there wasn't any real introduction to him as far as who he was. People were scared of him, but we know nothing about him and why, he was, why people were scared of him. Um... The only person that, I, that was really likable or that I could like kind of try to like was the um, Jack Horn or the Vincent um, Vincent character, Vincent uh, Dio Frio, something like that. Um, but he was, as far as his background, was the worst one of them all, being that he used to skin the heads of the Indians or the Native Americans. Scalp, scalp them. Um, but to me, it was just kind of like. I, I like the way they introduce Suicide Squad. This is what they do, this is their powers. Hey, let's go. You don't really get to know, we don't really get to see any history of any of these people. They just say who they are and people are either scared or they're not. Um, so I didn't really like the introduction. Introductions are pretty mediocre to me. Um, there was no intellectual value for me. Um, there's no real twist. Uh, only thing I kind of liked that I, that I got was the action at the very end. I mean, there was some action in, in the middle that was kind of cool, but as far as like a movie as a whole, I would be fast forwarding through the whole thing just to get to the action parts. Wow. Um, so I'm gonna probably give it about a six out of ten. That's just how I feel about it. But again, I'm not a Western guy, so that's not that bad. I'm already biased. It's pretty bad. <laughs> it's a D. <laughs> it's a D. All right. All right. So. <clears throat> <laughs> Throw up for you. Um, I'll just flat out say it right now. I'm giving it an eight out of ten. Um, I was gonna get an eight, eight and a half, but um, I did spend some time over the weekend watch, watching some of my favorite classic, you know, like westerns. I watched some, you know, Outlaw Josie Wales, Three Ten to Yuma. I watched um, some. I, I had fun with some westerns. Just, just call it that. <clears throat> but uh, when it comes down to this movie, it's definitely stuck to the classic. Um, it definitely had the silhouettes. I did get some of the southern twang in there. Um, and I liked that you got to meet a very variety of characters, all different races, all different, like, kind of kickbacks as far as, you know, you got, you got the Native American, you've got the, the I think he's what, uh, Japanese? I hope I don't get that right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Asian character. Um, you know, you get, uh, you get the, just the, the hillbilly hick, you know, you, you get Denzel Washington, you got the Afri African American in there. It's just, I, I loved it. And the other thing that I loved about it, too, was the underlining hero of the whole movie, if you actually think about it, was the one that started it all, and it was the the Emma Cullen. Uh, she played uh, Haley. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry, it's Haley Bennett who played Emma. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, but I, I liked how she defied, you know, she the underlining effect. She, she triggered all of this, and she wasn't the strongest character, but you know what, um, Valiant valiant effort in, in a rebuttal to driving the story. Um, got my hero to villain complex because Bogue was just a son of a bee. I, Total douche. Yeah, <laughs> like in the beginning you just meet him and you know it. And the thing is he's bad for the sake of being bad. He, he said very few words. He made his speech and he just actually just did what he did. Mm -hmm. uh, the music was fun. The, the way the story carried on, you know, in comparison with the original perfectly fine. I know in Westerns we have those moments where they got to do the small tread where they're sitting down talking and they just, you get the good time of the old Western feel. So as far as Westerns go, I really enjoyed it. I, I, I enjoyed that movie. Spoiler free <clears throat> blitz session right there. Bam! So at this point, you want to go ahead and cut it because we're going to start going to some of the actual spoilers and getting into it. So you got five, four, three, two, late, go. All right, so... You guys liked it, so as a Western, where were you guys rated? Top ten, top five. I don't have like I haven't seen a lot, a lot of westerns, but I've seen my share of them to know like which ones I really like. So I would put it in my top ten yeah, list, of course. Actually, yeah, yeah definitely be in my top ten because yeah. you know west. Yeah, top five, top five, top, top five. five, top five. Yeah, yeah, I would say top five. Yeah, I will say that. Right. Yeah, I like I said, I'm not a western guy, so there is no top. There's probably top. Two. 
honestly, that I can remember. I mean, I'm sure I've seen some, <laughs> but not that I really remember. Um, was Cowboys and Aliens on that list? No, I did not like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that movie sucks. <laughs> All right, I think I turned it off. Like, I have to say it. Have you, have you at least way. watched Young Guns? Like, did you ever watch Young Guns? I don't know what that is. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Western's not really my thing. Millie there's Western doesn't, There's nothing Billy that kid. appeals to me. And even, even though I had Denzel Washington, there was only one good, great part that he had that was, like, good acting is when he was yelling. I'm not going to say what it was, but... He was yelling, and that was the only time he actually, to me, because I like emotions, so mm-hmm. it's the only time he ever really showed any like real acting. Other than that, he was just being kind of suave and cool. Yeah. Um, well, that, that's the that's the that's who he was playing was that that um you know, riding in Dark Knight type of character where yeah. he, you know he's the he you know him by appearance. He does not have to say anything. He just has to open, and you're already shaking in your boots. Yeah, so we man. know him because awesome. of all the emotional responses he got. No, all the emotional characters that he's played. He's His always roles. done something yeah. that is that just kind of heartfelt, like, oh my gosh. you know. And the fact that he didn't, just because I know you because of all that doesn't mean you don't have to do any of it. Um, I, I mean, I like Denzel. Mm-hmm. He's one of my favorite actors, but... I didn't really get a lot from him. Like I said, the only person that really that brought something different was the um, Jack Horn. Jack Horn, and he was the only one that was really different. Mm-hmm. Um, Chris Pratt. Even I thought that he just didn't fit. His his <laughs> face did not fit. His demeanor did not fit with that time time period or any of the other characters. Everyone, they were all rugged. They were all seemed like they were like from the west. You know, Wild Wild West. He just seemed like he just got dropped from Hollywood and into the movie to me. <laughs> so I mean, he was he was funny, but I think that he should have maybe grew a little bit, being a little more rugged for me anyway. Okay, all right. So Jack Horn was uh, really the only uh, character that you like to follow, <laughs> even with that whole funny voice, because I absolutely loved his character. Oh it, it's like we had yeah. two comedic re- reliefs in uh, the yeah, movie. Well, him, and, him and the Mexican. It was, <laughs> what's right. a wero anyway? Right. <laughs> it's like, come on. Come I, couldn't, on. I couldn't tell if he was respected by them or if they just let him just talk. Because and he was like, yeah, we should do this, we should do that. No, he never got a response from anyone. <laughs> I'm like, do you agree with them or do you not agree? They just cut to the next scene. And I'm like... So I don't. I, I, don't, I, think, I think. Well, see, I think that's the biggest thing too. Is you know when you go back to you know old school westerns, especially like yeah, Young Guns, even Outlaw Josie Wells, you have you have those characters that are always talking. Like, and and you get you get the guy that looks like just shut up. Like, I mean, you, you when you have those squads together, there's always the one who's just like he 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 does have Chris. Like for instance, I'm just going to Young Guns. Going to compare it to Young Guns here. Um, but you have Emilio Estevez from, from Billy the Kid. You know, Billy was just uh, mouthed off, and no one ever listened to him. But every time he spoke, you just you just enjoying it. Like you just he's like, a wise guy. He's a wise yeah. guy. He's just gonna you know? make like little funny jokes here and there, and just like and like yeah. Do I take this guy seriously? Probably not. But when it comes to shoot it, I want him on my side. Oh you know? yeah, definitely. Because because you know what he's capable of. But yeah. that's why he's like he's literally a cocky. You know, bastard, and and that's what he played. He played this comedic. I don't care. Oh, we're doing this. We might die. Sure, let's do it. I don't right. care. You, you know, you, I got nothing better to do. You know, we got en- uh, enough characters in this movie. Uh, a part of the Magnificent Seven that did their uh, share of talking for other characters. Cause, yeah. You know, the, the Native American. He didn't like speak like hardly any words mm-hmm. up until the time when they first met him, and then when he spoke English. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah. He's like, wait, you speak English? <laughs> He's like, we got a lot of talk about don't don't you walk away from me <laughs> exactly um and so we got him and then also the uh, asian actor you know he didn't like hardly say anything you know but you know his partner in crime uh, ethan hawk's character um uh, spoke for him on behalf mm-hmm. of him because they were partners in like their whole like uh you know uh bamboozling of like their gun fights not a knife fights kind of thing i liked know? his introduction yeah when they were um facing our facing off uh, and he used the knife right. instead of the gun. I thought that was pretty that awesome. hairpin? <laughs> yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. I also like yeah. that they, they kept kept to some of the heritage. Like, I mean, he had guns, but he didn't use, he didn't use his guns first. He used his knives. He, he used his, his fighting skills. He had a bunch of knives that were holstered. And, you know? I, and, and it just yeah. it fit. Like, I'm like, that's awesome. Because, like, I would have never expected to use, like, the dragon blades and like that and make them fit with the Western world. And, 
it looks like it, it should work. Like, yeah. I was just like, oh, I love this. And, the, like, and that scene where he's like, knives. You know, he's describing them, and then he starts doing his, you know, action moves. Yeah. And, and then everyone's like, oh, screw this. And he's like, where are you going? He's like, like look, it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Well, knife, like, knife. <laughs> and he knows, knife. Knives, there's nothing to it. And it's like, yeah, there is. <laughs> yeah. So just, there, there's a lot of little quirks about that. And it just, you saw a human side to these guys, but you saw the strong, silent type, and then you saw their battle faces. Right. And so it's like, it, I just, that's what I enjoyed. it, And they were all different. All, none of them were consistent. I didn't get the same feeling from one character, and that's what I love the most. The Native American 2 was great because, I mean, you didn't get a lot from I wish there was a lot more of the Native in the movie, mm -hmm. um, but I definitely loved the whole Archer style, the whole stealthy style. You know, he, oh, he was yeah, the one absolutely. that they sent out to yeah. do the, all the... All, to, to see where the, the recon the boat was, yeah, and like right. because you know it was and, a scout. Yeah, yeah, he did fit that character. Yeah, yeah. and mm -hmm. I just he knew you know, the land kind of, you know. Yeah, the archery so, and everything. So he was able and to just do that. Made me want to go home and start shooting my boat. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I, I really wish I would have had a little bit more background, you oh, know, yeah. just just a little bit because so we had exactly. his Native American character <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> specifically him though specifically him yeah. because you know it takes place in the west and back in the day you know we have a lot of uh, native americans and like when they saw him everyone kind of just freaked out because they're like there's always more than just one yeah. around <laughs> you know we're around. probably surrounded you know yeah and so they everyone was freaking out the the entire team of the seven and and so we i would like a little bit more background because we had another uh native american on the bad side uh you mm -hmm. know on, on, oh, yeah. uh, uh uh, Barth Bartholomew's uh, uh, bad side, you know, and he was doing bad work for him. He was uh, his assassin, you know. To me, he was the villain. Um, Bartholomew was more of a mastermind. I didn't get a hero to villain complex with him mm -hmm. because all he he didn't say much, he didn't do much, he just told people what to do, and then they were the ones who were the bad guys, like the, the Native American. He had his henchmen. Native basically. American was, was the, a the bad old, boy. Yeah. boy. Oh, he the was opening is killer. what would be the hero mm -hmm. of the villain complex. So the opening with Bogue, you know, he goes in there and he takes that kid and he's freaking everybody out with his words and how he's displaying himself. Right. And then he goes out, and the thing is, he's still a man of action. Simply, and he he was someone that told people to go out because he knew that that was the way to do it. You tell people to go do stuff for you because you've already built your reputation. Like right. Denzel too, like he built his reputation. He could probably tell people. He walked into that bar and everybody was shaking in their boots. No, for the Denzel most put in he's put in work the whole time. He, yeah, from yeah. start to finish. Uh, that uh, guy yeah, was a little punk. Yes, yeah, so right. I fell asleep during this one too. I tried to stay up, he but it just was kinda of like sleep. long for me and it's you know, there's a lot of parts that just weren't interesting. I feel like uh, weren't relevant. I think it was so, funny because I didn't realize you were awake until I heard you laugh and some of the guys got shot. Like the way you're like, he's selling it, and I'm just like, oh yeah. God. He's like, well, Derek's whoa, whoa, whoa. awake. <laughs> 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 I did like that part. It was hilarious. Because when, from what I know, in westerns, they always always over exaggerate the the kill. Right. So they're flipping over things and they're falling out, getting thrown through windows. Like, so uh, 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 I think they did that really well. <laughs> And that's the only part I've ever ever liked in westerns. So I did laugh at those. those, those. I laugh at those type of things because it's fake. <laughs> it's Weird sense of humor, right? <laughs> so in other words, he's a guy you go with a slasher film, and when like he got him, and the he's like, yes, yes got him. Yes, I am. All got day, him. all yeah. day. If I'm not laughing through some someone's pain, I guess, <laughs> then it's not good. Uh, so, what's your favorite character? Oh man, my favorite character. Uh, so, you know what? I, I really like Denzel Washington's character. I like Chris Pratt's character, but I also really like uh, Jack Horn's character. Um, out of the three of them, you know, I mean, <laughs> every time I heard Jack Horn's character, he had like this, like, Mickey Mouse voice, like, yeah, kill Sonny so Marvin. He's this you know? big guy, like, it's hilarious. He's a big, like, fluffy bear of a man that just, like, hacks and slashes people with, like, hatches and stuff. Yeah, the way he gets introduced, he's just already beaten up on people. Yeah. And I thought that was kind of awesome. He come out the, out the woodwork, out the, out the bushes, <laughs> hitting people in the head and <laughs> stuff. They freaking axe. They the boat up. <laughs> <laughs> These people come down and got the drop on me and took my stuff on me. I'm by all rights to do what I did. I thought that was an exactly. awesome introduction because we have these two people talking about how they killed him. Like, yeah, he'd never met the pigeon twins or whatever they were. And they're trying to act all hard and all of a sudden he comes out of the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> he kills one of them. I'm like, oh my gosh. 
<laughs> Who is this guy? Yeah. Now I thought that was a good introduction. Pigeon yeah. Twins didn't last that long. Not at all. Yeah. Oh, it was Pigeon Twins. Yeah, I think so. Something like that. P- pigeon Twins, Pigeon Brothers, something like something that. Something like that. It was Pigeons. Like, why would you want to be Pigeons? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. Loved his introduction. And uh, Chris Pratt's character, just because he was like the... The poker player, you know, just like handing out poker cards, doing like magic tricks, you know. So, I mean, you know, he would swindle people like that. And he was like, you know, very like witty and fun with it. Um, I'm with you on that. I guess I just kind of felt like he was the, the they, he was the guy that like appealed to the younger crowd. Sure. Like, okay, we need someone that's a little more clean cut. He's Star Lord, man. Yes. <laughs> right. That's a little, you know, kind of funny and witty. Mm-hmm. That kind of can appeal to the... Younger crowd. Not that he was actually needed. I didn't feel like he was needed in the whole I think he was the youngest guy out of all of them, pretty much. You know, he was probably him and the uh, Native American, really. Oh yeah, I guess. Native American, I think those yeah. were probably like the two youngest. Uh, but I mean, he just had more lines. Like, and then, when he when he's seven, uh, who's that guy, Chris Pratt? Yeah, yeah, get him in there. Yeah, he he did Jurassic Park, right? <laughs> Close enough. That's how I felt about it. I mean, he wasn't bad. I'm not saying he was bad. I just felt like. He wasn't needed as a character. As a Western, he, he probably didn't fit, it. I think is what yeah. the vibe I'm getting at. Okay, yeah. Um, I liked it. I thought it was suitable for his character. And then for uh, Denzel Washington, just for the fact that, you know, he goes into this bar, he talks to the bartender, is like, I want some information. And just like, you know, tells the bartender, you know, something about it. You know, he's like, I, I got a family. He's like, they do better without you. They don't need you, you know? I know, right? And I was just like, this guy's bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I, it was. It would be between Denzel Washington and his counterpart um, from... Training Day? Training Day. Good night. Yeah. Ethan Hawke. Good night. Um, Good night. <laughs> Because I got a, you got a sense of like badassness with him, and you got a sense of him being human to where all the stuff that he's done mm-hmm. has affected him, mm-hmm. and he doesn't really want to. He's not all there, and he doesn't really want to continue doing those type of things. Mm-hmm. And so I, I did like that. I would have liked a little more background into who Ethan Hawke played um, or Good Night. Uh, like, why do they call him Goodnight? Why is everyone so scared? I would want to at least see a little bit of it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's between them because, to me, he was the most, I want to say, prepared for the role. Oh, yeah. He looked as if he was born in that time. He did. Like, from the beard, his Scraggly clothes, beard, yeah. everything. Yeah. Uh-huh. And it just really made it... He was more authentic than everyone else was to me. Okay. So it's, it's between those two. I definitely see that. Yeah. I, I, I totally agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Um, I'm going to go between three characters. Uh, well, I, I love Chris Pratt's character overall. I, you know, I, it's hard to choose. I really enjoyed all these characters. They were I all good. I enjoyed all of them. Oh, enough yeah. to like really kind of, them. they all stuck with me. Um, but um, I'm going to stick with Chris Pratt just because he was the showboat. Um, he was the comedic value and he bounced off, um, you know, Manuel Garcia, um, the, the, the Mexican character. I was a Vasquez, you know. Um, there's always a Vasquez in a freaking uh, Western. <laughs> um, but uh, it'll bounce between uh, Chris Pratt Vasquez and uh, the um, uh, Billy Rocks, uh, the uh, Japanese uh, uh, freaking knife guy. Um, the only reason why is because I, I, you didn't get much from Billy Rocks, but he did not have to tell you much to tell you where he came from and what he does. Right. You just had to look at him. And, like, me being someone who enjoys characters and I, you know, write characters and do the whole nine yards, just, if I were to see the concept art of that character, I'm going to be like, I like him. I love him. He, he's, the, he's the guy that he, he brought knives to a yeah, gunfight. Yeah, exactly. And, and won. And won, right? And just like, and that, that would be his byline. He'd be like, Billy Rocks, you know? He <laughs> brings a knife to the gunfight and he wins. He kind of won. <laughs> Always one. Well, yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. No. Um, but when but you bring a Gatling in See, <laughs> those two, Good Night and Billy Rocks, they, to me, they stood out the most. They could probably have their own movie. Their own, oh, yeah, just spin Yeah, because the, all the stuff that. they have gone through. I would totally watch that. Those two characters, they were just the, they were the most, to me, authentic. You know, yeah, he, yeah. the Billy Rocks wasn't trying to be fully American. He still used his knives. He used his own heritage, mm-hmm. you know. I, I kept his own heritage, so yeah. I really liked that. And then... And then Good, Good Night yeah. was pretty much, he seemed like he was in the Civil War. Yeah, like he, oh, yeah. No, he, yeah, he had yeah. war trauma, you know? Right. Like he had nightmares you know, about so it. Like those yeah. two were the most authentic in that time period. You know? Oh, yeah. Like, I, I, I can agree with you. I, I just, but the other thing, too, is, um, like you say, Chris Pratt could just be like, meh. But um, <laughs> honestly, him between him and Vasquez, uh, uh, Manuel, um, Manuel, uh, Manuel, Manuel, Manuel Garcia. 
um, you know, honestly, between the both of them, uh, they if they the, neither of them were in it, the only comedic value you would have got was uh, Jack Horn. And that the movie would have lost its consistency at that point. I don't always need. I get that. I don't always need commute value. Oh, I need it, especially need in the western. I need it. I'm not going yeah. to go see a, a comedy. <laughs> like I, you, you I'm got okay Doc Holliday. I'm your Huckleberry. You know? Yeah, right. <laughs> like, not every situation needs to have humor. I don't know. I, I if I'm going to see a western, if it's not funny, I'm okay with that. But you find the humor in anything anyway. This guy's getting shot up. <laughs> <laughs> Dead silence. Everyone's like, oh no. <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> he did shoot him in the head. Yeah, he did. Yeah. That was great. So here you go. Yeah, so that's why I don't Western. Do this. Kick I'm out the comedic value around. and just start shooting people and yeah. exploding their heads. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, and that's why Good Night probably stands out the most because he was the most exaggerated death that there was in the whole he, movie. He, he was very exaggerated. Oh! Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> so, so, so his death, it, it, if you remember in Training Day, um, uh, Denzel Washington's character, he got shot up by a van of uh, 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 Russians, right? Right. And he got shot up. Mm. What happened the good night? He got shot up by yeah. a van. <laughs> 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 Denzel's back and going like, that's, that's what you get. Yeah. yeah. That's that was pretty they cool. both went out. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, someone, actually. someone needs to do, when that movie comes out on DVD, they need to do a side-by-side -side and be like, <laughs> yeah, who, who did it better? Who won it better? <laughs> I have to be laughing over and over again. <laughs> um, so, what did you guys think about the acting? What about what about Emma? Emma, or I guess Haley? I, I was did. actually, I, I, I was so, on borderline yeah. to bring her into my favorite characters. Like I said, um, the one thing I really liked about Emma is underlining factor. She she was the trigger for the whole thing. Like she yeah. she she t instead of. You know, and I, I okay, it's, I'm probably get you know knocked by you know females and those, but instead of being you know the typical female in a in a movie role where you know they could have sent the dude to do it instead of her, but she decided to do it and she went outside of the borders. She went to find somebody. She rec she got Denzel on board, and after that, it just triggered off everything. But not only that, but she wanted to fight. She wanted to shoot. She was the first one to volunteer, and her character she was sorrowful and she did it. At the th I'm sorry, but like. If I were shot up and my wife did that, oh my god, I love you, woman. I'm gonna fight hell to come back up and be with you again because you to just do that and and challenge everything. Like, mm -hmm. I, I guess I can agree it. with you. Mm -hmm. I was gonna disagree for, in like, for a split <laughs> second, <laughs> but because yeah. only because when she first started, she was so timid and so didn't yeah. want to be. You yeah. know, in she, the she was telling the husband like, "Don't right. say that." Quiet. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know. Shh. So then all of a sudden she just changes. But I feel like maybe that would make someone change. Like I tried to be good. I tried to just you know be passive. Mm -hmm. But you stabbed me, so now I'm furious. Yeah. And I feel like that's what happened. So I, I can agree with you with that. It, one. It, honestly, it, I, I wish that we could have got a bit more of an angst out of her, and had almost the female Punisher, you know, version in this movie. Uh, you know, her just. I wish that. I could have got a little, like, I would have liked, that there's that scene, this is totally going to spoilers, I would have liked that um, the two parts, like, in the end, I'm glad she, she got her due, but I would have preferred her to be more of an initial role in the two fights that she was part of. So the Native American fight, I would have liked that the okay. veteran Native American started getting down on the younger Native American, and, and they were going at it, and maybe he was, and then she just jumps in, she grabs a knife, and she, she just starts going. Like, I would have loved to see that, you know, mm -hmm. her to break that barrier of, you know, I, I'm still putting myself in this cage. I'm going to freaking boom! And right. so I would have liked a little bit more, but much like we would have liked a little bit more of every character. Like, I can honestly go through the, the lineup and I say... I think the timeline is going to mess you up. I mean, because really, women weren't really doing that at that, in that at that time. So the fact that they let her shoot and be kind of like awesome in, in that mm -hmm. aspect, I thought that was... About as much as they can really go yeah. at that yeah. time. Because, yeah. you know, you, your father can let you shoot the gun. There's an, doesn't matter what year it is, right. you know, you need to protect yourself as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they probably weren't doing hand-to-hand -hand combat. No, you know, I know. So I just, like I'm saying, sure. I, would have, I would have liked a break-free, like a, yeah. a break-free character. We, so I just, but I know I wasn't going to get it, but um, I'm just saying, like, this, this is where my imagination goes off of, like, this would have been cool. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, tell me it would have been cool if you, wouldn't, you just saw her, like, you know, elbow him in the face and then, like, freaking slash, slash, done, like, and then twist the knife, like, freaking horn, like, oh, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys gave it an 8, 8.5. Yeah. So what didn't you like? So, I mean, there's a, there's a couple of things that I didn't like, um, namely, I mean, like, you know, I, I wish I had a little bit more background to some of the characters, like, okay, like, 
like we kind of got them at, for their present value, right? Mm -hmm. How they actually met presently. Everything was in the moment. Everything was in the present. They're recruiting. We don't have a, we have seven characters, so that's gonna be so much background that they would have to give. But I don't know. I'm I'm willing to spend that much more time if it would made even if it would have made the movie a little bit longer um, to have Oof. that. Um, <laughs> but, but that's just that that's just how that's much I enjoyed it. Cool. Like so, yeah. like if someone said, "Oh, don't mess with." Good night, cause of blah blah blah, and they went like yeah. in a in like a flashback. When exactly. Did some stuff. Okay. Yeah, like him and Denzel, yeah, like like really cool. brothers in arms in like the Civil War, fighting for the cool. Union. You know that kind of thing. That would have been awesome. You know, and then he's just traumatic off of that, or the Indian and like you know he separates, and then this elder Indian goes, and you know all that kind of stuff. So a little, a little bit of background would have been nice, but um, you know we didn't get it, and you know I'm not gonna knock it too much for that. It's just me wanting more out of it, um, and then like. At the end of the movie, uh, spoiler by the way, but uh, at the end of the movie, they just kind of left the people who died their bodies there. So you know they had they had Good Knight's body oh, yeah. like uh, that had fell off the uh, church tower on the floor, and then we had Billy's body uh, up at the top w where he was with Good Knight, just shot up in the church tower, the bell tower, and you know the characters meet up, and you know Denzel's character goes up to um, uh, Emma's character, and he's just pretty much just like. Yep, that's it. We're done. Have a good one. And then they just ride off into the sunset. Him and the Mexican and the Indian. Yeah, I would have to agree with you on that. And I'm just like, like, dude, you're not even gonna stick around for the funeral. I mean, like, these your homie is like literally laying but on the floor. Were door. they really homies? Were they really friends? Maybe him and Good Night. Maybe. Yeah. But it was kind of like they were more like business partners at some time. They did some business together. And I want to get the hell out of here. But that is kind of rushed. It, it is very rushed. It like I immediately agree. afterwards, immediately after, like his body's still there, and <laughs> and the Mexican dude got shot in the arm, mm -hmm. and he didn't even get that wound treated. Yeah, they fit. He probably should, have, you know, gave some instructions. All right, cover their body, give them a good burial, put this on their tombstone or something. Yeah. He, oh. probably, he probably should have said something like and, that. And you brought you brought up a really good point too that reminds me because uh, you know. Uh, initially, Emma uh, had a bag full of gold or money from everybody in that town. Oh, yeah. And she was like, you know, everything selling my like, showing it off. Th th this is everything, you know, if you come with me, you know, and we get the job done. But, you know, did he collect? What, what happened with that money? I mean, <laughs> well, like, Denzel just rides off. There, there's a lot of things that went unsaid and, you know, right yeah. off into the sunset. And I would get that if it was like. I would roll right over to the mine. <laughs> Forget all that. It's like, you know, let's go collect this now. No, but I mean, I, that, that, that for me, it just kind of was like, wait, are you really going to leave your homie just like sitting there? No, I yeah. mean, whatever. You know? it, did, it didn't seem really rushed. Like, yeah. okay, let's wrap this up. All right, we're out. And yeah. then they just ride off. I wouldn't mind for an extended version, but I still don't think the extended version will give us everything that we wanted to. Um, I kind of took this movie as it was after I walked out of the theater. It's just one of those things I walked out. I'm like, that, that's what I got. It's, it's cool. Now, now at the now at the very very end, after they ride off, they did show like the couple of graves, the four guys yeah. that did die, and you know each one of them had like the playing card and the one like, one of those windmill things, you know. So I mean, they did bury them, you know, correctly. Mm -hmm. um, you couldn't really see the but, names on the tombstones. Though. It was so they, dark. They did a lot. Yeah, like, they did some very dark dark cinematic on that. Like they they did the whole like shadow. But the fact that they they rushed it to me they should have really made the name stand out you're gonna already rush it he just just leaves them on the ground mm -hmm. so now when you pan across the tombstones you should let the name stand out a lot yeah so it has more meaning i don't know i didn't like i agree i didn't really like the ending too much um, yeah. Ooh, yeah, I the guess very the, end the very end leading up to it i did like <laughs> <laughs> but the very end is like yeah. Not the very, very end, but leading up to the very end. And, and I can agree with you on those notes, too. There's certain things that I just was unanswered questions. Um, I definitely wanted to see Emma take more of an initiative role. Um, but overall, I mean, I'm not, I, I would literally, I wouldn't say I'm nitpicking at the movie, but I just, I walked out of it content. I was completely fine. I was happy. Yeah. I enjoyed it. And I'm, yeah, I'm fine with it. I I think the last one that I saw was actually uh, Hateful Eight. Hateful Eight. That's Hateful Eight. Uh, that, oh, and and, and that, you know, I just... That one was... I, I kind of liked it. Oh, man. I, 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 I give up on you, man. <laughs> <laughs> what did you like about that movie? Oh, they, man. I don't know. To me, it takes a lot of intellect to be able to tell a story all in one place. Yeah. We're not jumping here and there and there. We are here, and you yeah. have to make it interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if they can do that, to me, I feel like it's, it's a it's brilliant piece of writing. All right, so anything that we're leaving out here, anything that the fans should know, should, should they go see it? Um, I'll go see it. I, I definitely enjoyed it. That was yeah. weak. <laughs> <I> was, <laughs> you, 
<laughs> if I think you should see a movie, you should see a movie. <laughs> I don't think you should, though. So that's just... See, the thing about it is, is if you like Western movies, definitely go see it. Yeah. yeah. If you're curious about this movie enough, just go see it. Go see it. Yeah, absolutely go see it. I would say go see it on a $6 day, whether or not that's Tuesday or Sundays for you. Mm -hmm. Whatever day that's cheap, I would say, if you don't got nothing to do, then see it. I mean, you got Denzel, so if you really like Denzel, you got Chris Pratt, if you like Chris Pratt, you're going exactly. to like it. That's why I say watch it. I mean, you go on a $6 day, you go on a $10 day, you go on a $20, I don't care. Yeah. You're, 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 you're not going to walk not out of the movie and be like, I was ripped off. Like, you're going to walk, oh, maybe not all of us. <laughs> if you're not into Westerns, then I wouldn't, I wouldn't see it. There's nothing spectacular about it. They're not doing anything different, so... I wouldn't go. But. It's it's a great action movie. You know, you got some fast shooting. You got some really old school cinematics, and I mean, it's just it was fun watching. I mean, I, I really enjoyed this movie for what it was. That's thing. I would have liked more standoffs. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. You, you know actually, one thing I was gonna <laughs> chip in there is, um, you know, I, I would actually, you know, I was gonna say this is like the Western Avengers because we didn't get enough <laughs> of all these characters, and if they were to spread off and do solo movies on some of these characters that were that interesting. And have the, have them cross between these movies now? Oh my God! You're onto something. Bro, you see You're a Chris Pratt something. movie and you get the feel for him in like history, that. and then you get Ethan Hawke, and then you have Denzel Washington in the movie just chiming in every now and then. Oh my gosh! Like I'd sit there and watch those individual movies. That's a great idea. I'll let you guys <laughs> so there you go, that. there you go, Hollywood. If you want to hire me just to be around to help you, feed, yeah, just hit me up, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, he'll keep you motivated to keep pushing out these westerns. Yeah. 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 All right, guys. Oh. Well, I think that's it. Magnificent Seven. There you have it. Let us know what you think. If you went to go see it, let us know if we're, we're tripping. If you agree with any of us, uh, if it was just garbage, or if it was a perfect movie, let, let us know. Let us know if you fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so uh, like, subscribe, share with your friends. Take a look at the you know other videos that we have. We definitely put a lot into these skits, so hopefully you guys laugh and have a little bit of fun with it. I know that these videos are kind of long, but... It's a discussion. So just stay with us and comment on anything that you guys don't like or want us to see. Uh, we do do some, we would like to start to do some classic movie reviews because a lot, we're, we're young. So suggest so some. If you, if you guys actually, if there's some movies that you want to see us review because you're curious about our opinion or maybe, I don't know, just comment and say, hey, watch this movie and tell me what you think and we will do it for you. Yep. Yeah, totally. All right. Well, I'm DeAnthony. I'm Don. The coach. And we're out. Break room bliss, baby. Give me your kind <laughs> Hey, Derek, you got my SD card? What SD card? What SD card? Hey, hey. I'm asking, do you have my SD card? Damn it. Oh. You, God damn it. I warned you. Silent but deadly.